Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the better channel, which is the build 22623.741. This build is a smaller build for the better channel, which solves a few issues that users had with the previous better channel build because some users didn't even receive the latest build. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is new in this build, what is changed and also what is fixed. If you enjoy videos like these, where I keep you up to date with new Windows 11 insider preview builds don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all for everyone who is new to the better channel you must know that the better channel has two different builds that roll out every time one of those is the 22,623 and the other one is 22,621 the 6231 is the build that has all the new features rolling out and enabled by default and the other one has the new features off by default. If you have installed the build that has all the features off by default, you can just go into Windows Update and then check for updates and you will be offered the build that has all the new features rolling out. Also, Windows Insiders that are on the build 22,622.601 and did not see the build 22,623.730, I saw a lot of people that said that, should now be able to reboot and see this new build offered. And also, Insiders who were previously on build 22,622 will automatically get moved to 22,623 via an enablement package. So this could be an indication that Microsoft is now starting to test features out for the version 23H2 in the beta channel. So I think that's good news. In this build, we have a few fixes regarding the tablet optimized taskbar. So for example, Microsoft fixed the issue causing the taskbar to sometimes collapse when it should be expanded if there are no running windows on the desktop. Or they fixed an issue that would occur when using the left or right edge gestures resulting in the widgets or notification setter to overlap with or look truncated by the taskbar. And they also fixed an issue that was causing the tablet optimized taskbar to crash explore.exe if you enter the overflow flyout. And also regarding the system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue so that quick settings items can now be rearranged with the touch again. And we have some fixes for both builds, the build that has all the features on by default and the one that has all the features off by default, they fix an issue that affects server manager that might reset the wrong disk when several disks have the same unique quote. And they also fix localization issues for some set of files. These issues might stop you from creating installation media for non-English languages. And of course, we also have some known issues regarding this build, but those known issues will be in the article below in the video's description. This was the beta build for today. As I've said, it's a smaller build, but it fixes a few issues that were noted by users. And also now users will be able to update to this new build even if they didn't get the latest build. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.